mix the announcement in about five seconds. May I have your attention for an announcement, please? Tonight, the part of Robin Williams will be played by Don Ho. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome Mr. Robin Williams. I wish to begin by showing you something that I am very proud of. I know. I'll have to ask these people to move back, though. <laughs> You're disarming me. Well, uh, <laughs> obviously, you are on drugs, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Don't be a bear. I would like to begin by doing some basic Soviet suppressions for you. <laughs> Uh, my first suppression is Karl Marx, and for those of you on drugs, Karl Marx. <laughs> Karl Marx, take one. Imperialism has the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Shh, wait. <laughs> and, and now a native New York impression, a New York echo. Hello! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Thank you. A cheap shot. Thank you. <laughs> If you ever go to the Soviet Union now, uh, this is something else for you. Um, this is impression of interview with Nadia Komenich. Komenich Chechi, once again, for those of you on Quelud. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh, you're late, let me show you what you missed. <laughs> we did a quick thing. Came out, we did this. The feminists came out on stage. With this photo, we were like this, okay? We had it. So, okay, thank you. <laughs> right on, I said, I have to show you something special. Move back. The big thing over there. Get over there. We then we did a thing over there. We talked to this over there. We talked back. Then we did a quick thing. Oh, we did so another separation. Karl Marx, the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> wow, deja vu. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I uh, wish to do for you now. This is a third suppression. This is interview with Nadia Komenich. Komenich, Echi, Komenich, Echi. Nadia. How does it feel to be the finest female gymnast ever to compete in the 1976 Olympics? Let's go, Gibby. She's ever got the 1976 Olympic mark by Charles Bigel and Nieve Prochugo, gold medal season in the Chevron de Vie. Tayo! Now, Polo She said she enjoyed it very much, but she did not go through puberty. <laughs> Wait, don't give up, it gets better. <laughs> Nadia, you think you'll compete in the 1980 Olympics? Nadia, you think you'll compete in the 1980 Olympics? I'm not going to show you how to show you, I'm not going to show you how to show you. Thank you. I'm not going to show you how to show you. I'm not going to show you how to show you. I'm not going to show you how to show you. I'm not going to show you how to show you. She says, yes. 5.0, <laughs> 5 5.0, 5 who cares? <laughs> like to do for you some Soviet ventriloquism. Here it is for you. Nikki, how do you like being in America? <laughs> <laughs> Social relevance, right arm. <laughs> it's nice that you laugh. In Soviet Union, people don't laugh. They just go, funny. <laughs> I have uh, one last suppression for you now. This is an um, interpretive dance for you. Oh, some more smoke. I want to die. <laughs> We're ready now. Can you see in the shitty seats over there? <laughs> okay. We'll get back to you. Okay, over here, yes? <laughs> Give us Barabbas. <laughs> oh, look, they've elected a new pope. Okay. Right now he's in the Vatican on Easter, ready preparing for the day, going Gingala Sanive, Londere Santo Bele, Shonda Vilandera Singelevando, play ball! <laughs> and now a quick interpretive dance for the ladies in the audience. This is the famous Death of a Sperm Ballet. <laughs> Shh, wait. <laughs> You're laughing at nothing now. <laughs> 
Great, you must use great for it. This firm, oh, sorry, bad view. I don't mean to moon you. <laughs> this firm prepares. He swims upstream. It's a hard struggle. Finally, he meets the diaphragm. The ovum sits on the other side. The sperm tries, tries, and in the style of Master Graham, really tries and dies. So dear. <laughs> Hello. Whenever I blow a dollar in a bottle of water, I have Perrier. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, the stronger stuff. Let's see what the house wine is. Thunderbird. Ah, <laughs> uh, but it's a good week, though. <laughs> Hello. Go Vidal for Thunderbird wine. Take two. Hello. Go Thunderbird for Vidal wine. <laughs> Take three. <laughs> Before we go on, a, a brief joke for any psychics in the audience. We know who we are, don't we? Look, the fog's coming in now. No one's seen that movie, good. We're all set, time for some culture now. Some poetry to enlighten your, your brief day. Here it is, my first poem. Red sand between my toes, summer vacation in outer space. That was a Martian haiku. <laughs> now a simpler poem, a poem written on acid entitled... <laughs> 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 Eve Arden. <laughs> Those of you who understood it went, wow, reality, what a concept. <laughs> Now a poem for those of you who've taken Evan Wood speed reading. Thank you. Who <laughs> do? Time now, boys and girls, to go to Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in my neighborhood. Oh damn, someone stole my sneakers. Let's do some wonderful things today, boys and girls. But first, do you mind if I take some more medication? It makes the day go a little bit slower. There we go. Now we're going to do some interesting experiments that you can do around the house. Let's put Mr. Hamster in the microwave, okay? He knows where he's going. Beep! Pop goes the wheeze. That's severe radiation. Can you say severe radiation? <laughs> Look, you've got a little balloon now. <laughs> I know many of you say, why did you do that? Because it's real sick. But I have to do that because you realize, boys and girls, that the universe is entropy. Can you say entropy? <laughs> nice try. <laughs> We've got to change it now. Rogers, get off the air. They've got to know, Tommy. I've got to do something meaningful while I've been trapped in this job for over 13 years. <laughs> oh, look, Mr. Postman's here. Let's see what he brought for me today. It's my package from Frederick's. <laughs> Yesterday, he brought my package from Columbia. <laughs> Sometimes that's the only way I can tolerate you little shits. <laughs> We have a special treat today. You remember yesterday we talked to Frank Zappa? Well, today we're gonna talk to Mr. William F. Buckley and he's gonna read some fairy tales to us. Don't you go away, he's right here with us right now. Well, thank you very much. Today we're going to examine the political social ramifications of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Now first, first of all, let's examine her name, Goldilocks. First of all, Goldie, the Aryan stereotype, combined with locks, the Jewish soul food. <laughs> Obviously, it combines to make a sort of bourgeoisie archetype. She is in conversation versus uh, the three bears. They're not dark bears, they're not brown bears. Let's just call them third world bears. 
And now, in this case, I'm using Goldilocks as an example of imperialism expanding outwards towards the minor race countries of the third world countries in the case of the three bears. Now, first of all, the three bears are out, possibly expanding an expansionist policy on their own, and Goldilocks, as the imperialist, comes in to once again, she finds some food on the table. One is too hot, let's say this is Marxism. <laughs> possibly granola, we don't know. One is too cold, let's say this is uh, hard and cold capitalism. Cold cash, I just use as an analogy. And she chooses the medium, once again, a bourgeoisie attitude, choosing that which is just right. As Karl Marx said, eins für Ehre und für Ehre. I won't translate for you, one day you'll understand. She says on one chair, it's too hard, possibly these are sexual ramifications, I don't know. <laughs> one chair is too soft, possibly womb-like, she doesn't want to return back to the womb. Then she chooses, she chooses once again the medium way, and the chair breaks, obviously showing a certain flaw in her logic. <laughs> Finally, she goes to the bed, once again, many of you right now are titillating at that. <laughs> but now, we get to the best part where she falls asleep, she goes to the bed, one again says, one is too hard, we, we pursued that before, one is too soft. Once again, she pursues the median, falls asleep. Now, into this, the, the bears returning to their homeland, find her there asleep. Why they don't eat her, I don't know. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow and see when we examine the political, social, and geometric possibilities of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. <laughs>
Give me your hand, wait, but first we touch your verse with the magic words of comedy. Take my wife, please, come on up. She did it! Welcome up now, dear child. Welcome to the temple of coming. What is your name and where are you from? Evelyn. Evelyn, you... right. let's pray for a last name. <laughs> we'll get your last name, don't worry. Just sit down, you look awful scared, don't worry. We didn't mean to bring you up here and ridicule you. <laughs> Thank you, my child. You touch me like you know me. <laughs> Yay, we've had one healing already. Yeah. Is there someone else? Yeah. Do you need to be healed, son? Yes. Are you wanting to be healed? Yes. Then heal. <laughs> yay. Yay, yay. Isn't it amazing what comedy can do? And those of you, those of you watching at home on your TVs, I want you to grab the back of the TV and feel the power of comedy. <laughs> you will, as it chucks your ass across the room, somebody will have a laugh. And it can move you, move you, woo! It's all right. You want to kiss me? Yeah. You want to share my disease? <laughs> a kiss for you, my child. <laughs> hey, I want to kiss you too. No, no. <laughs> That'll be extra. No, no, no. Sit down, son. You're getting overzealous here. <laughs> the boys is coming out of the closet right here. But that's all right because comedy says better late than never. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heal yourself. Now you know. You know that comedy is like that. It can help you, don't you worry? You've got to laugh. We have Howdy Doody in the White House doing all those crazy things. <laughs> Thank you, Dip. You're obviously Republican. Yay. <laughs> praise, praise the power of comedy. Amen. Thank you. Can we get an amen right now? Amen. Can we get an A woman too? Amen. Yeah, we've got to be equal always. <laughs> Have mercy, testify. Hallelujah. And those of you over there in the special seats once again. They can hear you and They understood me. I speak, I speak druggies. It's okay. Friends, it is so amazing to have you all here. You know, friends, if you're here, those of you on drugs, I know where you are. It's okay, because when you have comedy, you don't need your drugs anymore. You just put them in a big hat. We're gonna pass among you. And we're gonna send them to our missionaries in Malibu Beach, California, to help the poor young surfer boys who don't know where they are and all day going, wow, Tommy, I got tube. You know, it's like that because need, I'm sorry if I drool on you, it'll heal you. It's holy sweat, it'll help you. And look, Sears had a sale. This is one of them. Those of you who came here, you know, next week, we're gonna take a pilgrimage to the Holy Lands, to the Catskills, we're going back. To the Holy Rock and Grossing Years where the Prophet Jerry went, I don't know, Jimmy, we're gonna talk now. <laughs> we're going home, we are going home to where the saints walk. And you know, when the Prophet Shecky spent 40 days and 40 nights at the dunes, he did. <laughs> Praise you for coming here tonight. You brought me a row. Whoa, thank you. And an egg, too. Another kiss. A kiss for you. Go. Two born again virgins, they are. And if you believe that, you'll buy this watch. <laughs> but that's okay. Because you know, friends, comedy can help you. You know, life's like a big fan, and sometimes a caca hits it. <laughs> but comedy can be your shield, it can help you laugh it away. Thank you, dear brother. It's so damn easy. <laughs> You have to use Mr. Tongue and Mr. Lift. Yeah. Together they're four words. Come on, you have your fingers, that your fingers. <laughs> Another word for fingers. A Swedish word for fingers. My fingers will be here. Yeah. And if Bergman was here right now, he'd go, in your favor. Nice to see you. Good. What is it, son? Do you want me to heal your hand? Yeah. Give me a hand. I did any good. But you know, he's got to have a sense of humor. Look around you. Take care of yourselves. I want to leave you with the words of what my grandfather said to me before he died. He said, son, uh, 
The old fart had a sense of humor, he did. But go out into the world, carry the spirit of comedy and joy. Live yourself. You were pissed off. What is it wrong with you? You want my dolphin? I ain't giving it up. You think because you come to see a show that they have to give you a piece of flesh? No. I can't. I love dolphins because you know what their last words were. It's, I'm not a tuna. That's what they say. Now, you know, performing is a drug and you have been an OD, really. I know. Thank you. So take care of yourselves. Go out. Carry the spirit of comedy with you. You know, because it's what my grandfather, not the one that died, but another one. He said to me, he said, son, you can fool some of the people some of the time and jerk the rest off, you know. <laughs> In a few years, you're going to be paying $8 for a gallon of gas. You got to laugh. Because somebody over in Persia is going, we got them, he's all khadim. <laughs> but take care of yourselves. Join now in the spirit of comedy. Go out and bring the bliss that can be ours. God bless you. Thank you from all of us here at the Temple of Comedy. Take care. God bless you. Time now to do some Shakespeare. Oh. A bit of culture. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll base this upon a subject which I will get from you, an improvisational subject. Time's up. <laughs> Anything special, current, topical in the news? Robin Who's he? Yeah, what? <laughs> oh! <laughs> we are not doing that tonight, man. No, no, see, I do. I'm free from that now, Master Bob. No, don't have to. Now, new for a while. We're doing something different. I'm going to be. <laughs> Five months ago, he couldn't say his own name. Thanks to your dollars, he's learned to go. No, 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 no. And you could have your very own series. That's why I'm before. An angry mob. Sweat time out. I have to explain one thing. I ain't doing the mock because this is why I perform here to do something different. <laughs> time now for a Shakespearean play. A brief bit of culture once again interspersed with all the strangeness. From you, I need something that is topical that's been in the news recently, to base. All right. <laughs> Should be real. Harrisburg and Studio 54. Radiation, radiation, okay. <laughs> wow, man, why can't you say the damn words? <laughs> I don't know, Tommy, I'm on liquid wrench. I'm really feeling mellow. <laughs> Shakespeare, a play based upon the suggestions. Harrisburg, Studio 54. But first, before we do the play, I'd like to talk about the very serious subject of schizophrenia. No, he doesn't. Shut up, let him talk. <laughs> Wonder what chairs think about all day. Oh, here comes another asshole. <laughs> A Shakespearean play based upon your suggestion of Three Mile Island, Pennsylvania, which will be titled A Meltdowner's Nightmare. <laughs> Suggestion. Shut up, I'm gonna try. I'll find the dog baby perform. Shut up, Andrew, you've got to perform. No, no! He's ready, show business is his life. <laughs> First, can you dim these lights just a touch? Can you bring them down?
That was Dueling Planets. <laughs> Luke! The Sistine Chapel is designed by Fiorucci. <laughs> oh, we can do Night of the Living Disco, starring Village of the Damn People. <laughs> macho, macho man. I've got to be a macho man. Here, Tommy, play this record. It won't hurt you. Don't be afraid. It's not a pod. Here, play it. Ellen did. Yes, I enjoyed it, too. Stand alive. Stand... And now, Joan Sutherland sings Rod Stewart. If you think I'm sexy and you've got the body. I'm sorry, that wasn't Shakespeare. That was just me having a good time, man. I'll take that all back. That's not Shakespeare now. No more fooling around. I, I do get laid. Oh, someone who fancies chickens. You a farm boy? You remember this sound? Squeep! <laughs> the first half score now. Assorted assholes. Nothing. Two. Rick em, rack em, rack em, rack em, get that ball and really fight! <laughs> and now, Shakespeare. On well, the words of Nefertiti, not tonight, it's my pyramid. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not on stage yet! till I get out to here. Wouldn't it be funny though if I was just a hologram and went <laughs> Could scare the shit out of a lot of people here. Once again, if there are any little children here tonight, we've used these words in a sentence. I don't care, it's still stupid. Shakespeare now. The play will no longer wait. <laughs> but I'm having so much fun. represent the William Morris Agency. Shakespeare, you know what we're trying to do. <laughs> Entertain a time when all is simply strange and yet radiation causes chromosomes to rearrange. My father worked at your atomic plant hinder and sends me forth with my arms thus withered. But yet, I am not afraid. I am merely here to think. Fear not. If I see my words fall out in pieces, they land upon the ground like simple feces. No, not who I am. <laughs> I come before to entertain a play about yon vexing plant hither that sends out forth and glows at night and brings forth things, but yet you care not. You sit in front of your TVs and your balls do glow in the dark. <laughs> Mind not my words. Let the play say the thing. I'll get back forth and touch myself anon. I... Who was that ugly sucker that came hence? <laughs> it's a strange and vile night, I... It's strange to be so loaded and yet work the night shift. Why? <laughs> the plant doth glow in the night like a huge acne zit, why? <laughs> Hark, look! The ghost of Einstein comes hither! What are you doing with my formula? I gave you simply E equals MC squared. You must sugar, no, you fuck it up like this. <laughs> I merely allowed you an idea to explore the universe. Instead, you make money and do this, Anon. <laughs> I am truly loaded now. <laughs> Events are truly strange. Look, the stream that comes from the plant. What news? A three headed fish. No big deal. <laughs> And yet the newspapers say it is a minimum warning. It is a vile and strange thing. And look, the town is on fire. There'll be no vexation for me here. I shall ask my father, he shall know anon. Father, I knock upon thy door. Tis I who spawn from thy loins, who comes hither to tell you, look, the whole town is covered in radiation. Know ye not? No, son, nothing's wrong. Look at the news. <laughs> The 
president wouldn't walk into that plan if things were awry. Father, the president has the brains of a piss ant, my lord. <laughs> Nay, I will wonder, ask my mother, mother and none. I, it is your son, Oedipus Schmedipus, I come to talk to you. What news, my dear gentle mother? Oh, Tommy, I can't hear you, I've got the blow dryer on. Give me another volume. No, Mama. She will sit anon and watch Lucy melt into the sky. It is strange, no one knows. It is a violent opposed thing, I must get me hence. There. Nature, money. <laughs> no. Nature, take the money. Nature. Money. The money or nature. Nature. Money, money can't buy. Money, money could. <laughs> no! <laughs> Assholes do vex me! <laughs> I must consult the gods as I. The gods of utility, they shall tell me what to do. Oh, ye PG and E, I've. What? I'll hold. <laughs> there is no help for me hither. Tis a vile question I must interpose twixt myself. I know my course is resolved. I know what one to do. It is strange, but yet I must. I shall go to the plant and pull the rods and yet diffuse so we have not melted down and will not speak Chinese anon. <laughs> strange could be a good idea for a cinema, but yet I know not. I shall wander hence to the plant. I, I sneak anon. There, shh, past John security guards. They have passed out anon. I am here that I am finally in the room of radiation. Ah! Oh no, too late! <laughs> I have gotten too close to the reactor, but there's no price to pay! I am the reason like things I pull the cords and on! Ah, too late, a chain reaction! Where is time for that I were dancing at 54? I would not be. Ah! Dorothy, wake up! <laughs> Let's all get down, get funky. Right. Now the lovely lemon sister's gonna sing, I can't get no satisfaction. <laughs> Thank you, girls. That was a bitchin' boss soul. <laughs> now let's hear for the brothers in the band. Each and every one of them is a bad mother in his own right. Play that funky music, white boys. <gasps> oh. Oh. Now it's time for a brief Reader's Digest condensed version of Roots. <laughs> Roots. <laughs> Getting applause just for Roots saying. People. Roots? What was happening, my man? <laughs> Say, what it is, how about? Why be honky when you can be funky? We have graduates to the Leroy Funkified Badass School of Soul. Learn all the new hands that fast. How about what's happening, baby? These and many, many more. Learn all the basic steps. Become instantly well hung. That's right, like instantly well hung. Don't ask why I send your money to 444 That's right, 444 Now. Let's 
fantastic. Okay, the one apart. No, there won't be enough that stripping in my house. <laughs> Love you, sweetheart, darling. Have your service for my service. We'll have that for some dinner. Bye-bye. All right, Iggy, you got the big one. Are you ready? Give you a moment to prepare. This is it. It's the final scene from Metamorphosis. You've just changed your demand to come as you are a cockroach. Fantastic to have you on the set. Okay, we're ready now. Big time, Iggy, come ready. Final scene, Lola. Lola, get ready for the big numbers. Here we go, darling. Big time. You're cool. Love you. Ready? Lights. Camera. Action. It's in the book. <laughs> Come away. Hmm? I'm sorry. I seem to have lost you. So this is coming to hell. It's all right, though. Since I have said silence, it's, it's okay. Come inside my mind and see what it's like when a comedian eats the big one. Come on in. like crazy. No, you're not, you fool. You're just doing pee pee caca, no substance. You're not talking about any truth, no realities. Why don't you change the nature of man instead of just talking about drugs and people passing out? Help the world. Shut up, both of you. I'm the rational mind. We'll have to release the subconscious. He'll be the arbitrator. Oh, no. 
Sonia. That's about all I can do with it. They have some good memories, though. I'd like to show you something special. You'll have to move real close. Long time ago, he said, people, they're kind of like flowers. 